Hey, what's up? It's Taka here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm happy to announce uh, that uh, Inkzorp Mobile, Inkzorp for Mobile version 5.5.0 is now available and uh, which supports uh, Web Clipper. <laughs> yes. So it's been uh, on the roadmap for a long time and it's finally uh, available. So I'm so excited. So let me show you a demo. Uh, it's available both on iOS and Android. And I'm gonna show you a demo uh, with my Pixel 5 here. And uh, yeah, so as you may know, Web Clipper is for capturing online resources quickly uh, from your web browser. Uh, and it's now possible on your, your mobile phone. And so let's say you came across a useful, useful article or a useful library promising uh, tips, uh, things like that. And uh, you wanna take a, a quick memo uh, on that. Uh, tap uh, more button, button here and uh, tap share button and uh, boom. So there are uh, uh, the inkjob icon uh, on the share sheet. Uh, actually there are two icons, but one is for, right one is for uh, debugging. So you can ignore it. Uh, so let's tap the left one, left one here. And now you can see uh, a screen shows up. Uh, it's uh, for saving uh, or insert a link. And now you uh, and uh, you can choose uh, where to save, and uh, uh, you can choose whether to include page content or not. Uh, so the Inkjob automatically converts uh, the main content of page uh, into Markdown, so you can refer back to it quickly, easily. So let's save it as a web clip. Yes, so now you have a, a new note uh, with the page title and the URL and the main content uh, in Markdown format here. Yeah, it, it, it's not far perfect, but, uh, yeah, but it, it's useful for uh, referring back to uh, it later. Okay, and uh, Let's create another note and uh, <clears throat> let's do it again. And there are two more options uh, which allows you to which allow you to uh, insert a link into the currently editing note or uh, to copy a link as a markdown. So let's insert a link uh, into the current note. And you can choose a link format. So let's choose this one. Yeah. So if you are editing uh, a note, uh, you can quickly insert a link into the editing note, which is cool. So that's the web clip feature. I hope you like it. And I also uh, published a blog post about how I implemented this feature. So there were uh, some challenges to support Web Clipper uh, on iOS, and uh, that's because. So here is a blog article, and uh, so my app is uh, built with React Native, and uh, what's hard for React Native developers to support uh, share extension for iOS is that uh, to to display a custom view in the extensions. So you must you have to create another React Native instance on the uh, share extension, and uh, it's kind of complicated. And also, uh, my app is have to uh, encrypt your node uh, with end-to-end uh, -end encryption. So it is hard to do everything uh, in the separate separate process. Uh, in, in the share extension. So usually other apps directly call uh, remote API like uh, REST APIs uh, via HTTP and load the shared content later uh, when the main app uh, launched. So it's simple for uh, usual apps 
this uh, this approach doesn't work for uh, my app Inkjob. So instead, uh, instead of implementing uh, full features in the CR extension on iOS, uh, I decided to uh, take a app redirection approach, uh, which redirects uh, which redirects to from share extension to the uh, to the containing app immediately uh, after tapping the app icon on the share sheet. So as you can see, if you tap the icon, uh, it immediately redirects to the main app. Yeah, so it is allowed. It, it, it looks like Apple uh, allows to do that. And uh, yeah, so actually Apple accepted my app uh, with this with this UI flaw. So yeah, it's safe. And, and uh, why I decided to do that is that uh, uh, other apps like Blue Sky uh, already uh, do that. Yeah, it's okay. So, so I've written uh, the detailed steps to uh, how to implement it uh, on your React Native app, and uh, yeah, I, I I won't go to I won't go deeper uh, in this video uh, because it, this is too specific <laughs> and. Uh, but if but uh, if you're interested in implementing share extension or uh, receiving uh, share intent uh, on Android, uh, I hope uh, it's helpful for you. Yeah, so I've written Swift, and uh, I borrowed some code snippet from uh, Blue Sky's uh, Blue Sky's app. It was so useful. Yes, uh, there are some hacks needed. And also uh, the Android part. So you have to add intent filter uh, to accept uh, the text data uh, by a uh, other app. So you have to edit Android manifest manifest uh, .xml. And there is a challenge to solve. And uh, yeah. Here is how to handle uh, the received intent. Yes, yeah. So I hope it's helpful. Uh, I put the link down below in the description. Yes, so that's it. Uh, I, hope you, I hope you have a productive day. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, okini, bye bye.